Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I filmed another what I eat in a week video for you guys. So I filmed the eating like different countries for a week. That was my last video. And I didn't get to do a Korea, which is where I was born. It is my home country. So for this video, for this week, I decided to try to cook a lot of Korean and Asian recipes. It was a good time. And I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hate it, despise it, despise me, you can give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress. Make sure to follow your girl on her other social media accounts. I really wanna to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram so I can do the swipe up feature. Please, can you guys help me just so I can stop asking you guys because I truly internally cringe every time I ask you guys to follow me there. And I also stream on Twitch like five to six times a week and we have a lot of fun. We do some mukbangs, we play some games, we hang out. So yeah, come say hi. And I'm just rambling now, so let's just get on with the video. For lunch, I'm making udon noodles. I already started boiling up some chicken broth. I added shiitake mushrooms. I just added just a little bit of soy sauce. And then I'm also going to be adding some seaweed. So that's why I didn't add like a lot of soy sauce because seaweed can be very salty. I also added some tofu, I forgot to mention that. On the side for vegetables, I'm also having bok choy and bean sprout kimchi. Yes, I changed my shirt for the second time today. I wore a certain shirt for the intro of my last video and for stream, but now I am just lazing around. So Sailor Moon shirt time. For dinner, I made tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is like a really big comfort food for me. This isn't technically a rabokki because I'm a fake Asian and I have no ramyun in my apartment. So I used some rice noodles. Mmm. I sprinkled this like kim garnish on it or like seaweed garnish and sesame seeds. Mmm. I also added some tofu. Mm. And for dessert, I'm having a chocolate chip cookie. I'm probably going to have these for basically this entire week because I just got a fresh batch of them the other day from Whole Foods and I like to eat them at least one every single day because then if I don't do that, they go really they get really stale. Mmm. They're still so soft and chewy. I love cookies. Mmm.
for breakfast, I'm having some spicy vegetable soup. This has seaweed, kimchi, green onion, and bean sprouts. I have some tamagoyaki, a side of rice, some kimchi, and then some fruit. Mm. Mm. I'm making some kimbap sandwiches. Is that what they would be called? This looks a little weird, I know. I honestly don't even know what I would call this. Sounded good in my head. So this is what they look like. I don't know if it was better to cut them in half, but I've seen them cut in half, so I figured I should do it. Mmm. Maybe I'd have it so the kimchi is somewhere in the middle. I don't think I placed it in a good section because it's on the top. I think it would have been better if the kimchi was like here. I'm making dakuk, not traditional dakuk, kind of like spicy dakuk. You don't know what dakuk is, it's just rice cake soup. It's typically eaten on New Year's in Korea. I like a lot of pepper in my dakuk. And I added some shiitake mushrooms, some green onion again. And this is what the dok, so dok means rice cake. And you can get them in a lot of different cuts. But for dakuk, they usually look something like this if it would focus. And just like I said when I added the rice noodles for the dakuki, I'm going to add some rice noodles for the dakuk. That should be good. Add the tofu in. Ooh, oh my god, splashing. And then I'll just let this cook for maybe three to five minutes. Dok doesn't take a long time to cook, especially if you want to get the right texture. If you cook them for too long, they get really mushy. breakfast mm. in here I have muesli with cashew milk and I cut up an Asian pear I put some of it in here I'm also gonna eat some on the side Asian pears are so good I don't know how to explain it they're really crunchy they're kind of like if a watermelon was a pear mm. I just finished streaming and I'm about to make myself some lunch but before that I wanted to try these purple sweet potato rice snacks that I found at the Asian grocery store today. They don't really taste like anything. I would say they taste like swirple, swirple? Purple sweet potato. Hmm. Just like plain old rice cakes. Hmm. I have some kim on the side. I might need to use another pack. For dinner, I'm making some jajangmyeon or black bean noodles. And I've shown how to make the black bean sauce quite a few times, but if you haven't seen them, I'll go through it really quickly. So the first thing that I'm going to be taking is some black bean paste. You can get all of this stuff at the Asian grocery store if you have one near you. I also am going to take a little bit of gochujang or some Korean red pepper paste. And then I just add a little bit of soy sauce and then also some sesame oil. It should be a pretty thick paste. You kind of want to stir it until it looks like tar <laughs> so you want it to look something like that i have some broccoli cooking over here and then you can't see it but i have some tofu over here as well and these noodles i also got at the asian grocery store as well Oh dear, I took my lashes off, so I look a little weird, I apologize. 
God, I love noodles. Do y'all hear the sirens? Every hour, something's going on. Oh. No. <laughs> oh my god. For breakfast, I'm going to be trying J-Hope's toast, which is basically Hobie from BTS makes this kind of toast. I feel like it looks really burnt on camera. I promise. This is, it's fine. It looks really dark on camera. Maybe when I import it, it'll look different. My new toaster oven is freaking killing it. I think Hobie makes it where it's an open face sandwich, but I'm just going to make it like a regular sandwich. God, it looks really burnt on camera. I hope it doesn't look like that when I import the footage. First, you want to add butter. And then I have some strawberry jam. And then lastly, some bacon. Probably should not be cutting it with a butter knife. Why do I always cut sandwiches with a butter knife? What is wrong with me? And I have my Asian pear on the side. Mmm, these pears are huge. Mmm, I like it. The sweet and savory combination. Mmm, this is really good. Like, the more I eat it, the better it tastes. Mm. For lunch, I was really, really craving some ramyun, so that's what I'm gonna be making. Actually, shin ramyun is like my favorite ramyun ever since I was a kid. This was my go-to. And I always felt like it wasn't vegan. At least, I always got the black package, and I don't think the black package is vegan. But this one is. I keep rereading the ingredients over and over again and I don't see anything that isn't. Of course, if someone knows otherwise, let me know. But according to this package, everything seems fine. So I'm going to be making some shin ramyun and then I'm also over here, I'm going to be cooking a tofu veggie burger. These are really good. I like them a lot. So I have just been watching anime for the past few hours and I decided to finally make some dinner. And for my lunch, I had a lot of leftover ramyun broth. So I'm just reusing it and I'm boiling some udon noodles. And then I have some tofu and some bok choy and some mushroom. And then I have some kimchi that I'm going to eat on the side. I figured, you know, there was a lot of leftover broth. I shouldn't let it go to waste. Mm. I'm re-watching uh, Yuri on Ice. I just finished re-watching Given. I moved on to Yuri on Ice. Mm. Mm. I'm really trying to cook more Korean recipes and more Asian recipes. Ever since going vegan, or ever, really my entire life, I haven't tried to cook specific cuisines. And I think my video where I ate like different countries kind of inspired me. Like, especially ever since going vegan, I kind of just throw everything together and call it a meal. But I kind of want to, you know, eat more Korean food. I think I'm just, I'm still getting over like the internalized racism I went through for such a long time. Mm. I'm just learning to appreciate my culture a lot more. I guess it's kind of exciting. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
breakfast, I'm having something pretty simple. I'm just having some fruit and some peanut butter toast. Mm. I started reading this new webtoon. It's so good. And it's called The Makeup Remover. I'm going to be trying to make some tuna rice balls. I'm using this Good Catch Fish Free Tuna. Some mayo. Then I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper and some soy sauce. I'm gonna add some sesame seeds too. Then I just dumped in some rice and I'm gonna mix it all together. Oh well, oh well. I guess I'll just eat it like kimbap. I wanted it to work out, but that's what I get for not trying to find a recipe or anything. Mmm. This way is good too, so I'm not complaining. I just add it like this. Mmm. Baking kimbap for dinner. It took me a hot minute to figure out what I wanted for dinner. This is a new mat, so it's kind of stiff. I actually don't know if I really like this mat. We're just doing a rough cut. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to make it pretty. I'm also having some seaweed soup. This is spicy seaweed soup. Add some bok choy and some tofu. Cooking is fun, but it's a lot of work. Ha! Way too hot. Whew. Here's the kimbap. I usually try to make it a bit prettier, but I just, ah, lazy today. Mmm, taste-wise though. It's so yummy. Not my prettiest plate of kimbap, but still tasty nonetheless. Mm. Look at him protect the children. <laughs> You're a wizard. Why are you throwing rocks? You're a wizard, Harry. lunch I'm making kimchi fried rice start with some onion I'm like not feeling too hot today mainly because the water in my apartment got shut off and I just felt really gross it, it got turned back on which is good it was just I didn't know they did email me it's like totally my fault they emailed me I just didn't see and it just really caught me off guard and I just felt really gross it's like 3 p.m. I finally was able to shower the thing was is like because my stupid ass didn't check yesterday when they emailed me I wasn't able to prepare anything yeah when you get your water turned off you can't do like the simplest tasks so it was just unexpected. Wasn't prepared for that. So I'm making some kimchi fried rice to make myself feel better. In this little pan back here, I'm just gonna put in some bacon. These are very first world problems. I apologize. I'm just ranting, talking out of my ass right now. <laughs> this is also where I'm gonna add the gochujang. I like the sweetness that the gochujang adds a lot. Thank God I didn't go to the gym today. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. If I had gone to the gym, I would have to sit and marinate in my sweat until 3 p.m. The soy sauce. Give you guys a little shot before I put the egg on top. I'm finally having dinner. It's almost 8 p.m. But today is one of those really lazy days where I decided if I don't order out, I'm going to be having cereal for dinner. <laughs> so I got some japje. And then as a treat, I also got some boba. This is passion fruit bubble tea. And when I ordered it, there weren't any options to like use a different milk. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Really good though. And then like I said, I got some japchae. If you don't know what japchae is, it's usually sweet potato noodles. I don't know if they use sweet potato noodles here, but sweet potato noodles stir fried, like a lot of sesame oil and soy sauce and vegetables. Mmm, it's pretty good. Mmm. And this is gonna be like my dessert because it's so sweet. It tastes like candy. Today's editing day. That's why I'm running a little late. It's already like 1.30 p.m. I'm also not showing myself because I have a, like a towel turban and I look a little ridiculous. So I'd rather not show you guys. 
Mm. I actually wanted to have a more like savory bagel, but when I went to Whole Foods, they didn't have any. They only had cinnamon raisin. I'm not complaining. I told you guys I got a new toaster oven, right? Got a new toaster oven. Look how pretty it is. A lot cleaner, a lot better. I think the reason why my other toaster oven was so dirty was the fact that I got it when my dad was still alive and he used to cook like meat in the toaster oven sometimes. So it would get like, it would like spew stuff. Hopefully I can keep this one clean. Can finally have evenly toasted bread again. Mm. While I'm editing my video and to kind of like cool my mouth down and to have something sweet because the ramen is like really salty and spicy, I'm gonna have this chocolate banana koya drink. Mmm. This flavor reminds me of Nesquik, which I used to drink all the time when I was a kid. Or Yoohoo. Oh my god, Yoohoo. I used to love Yoohoo. Do they even sell Yoohoo anymore? I don't know. Kimchi jjigae is on the menu for dinner tonight. Kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew is basically just that. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I've made it a few times on my channel before. If you're new, I'll walk you through it for a bit. Add some sesame oil to a pot, add some garlic, and then some onion. Now I'm gonna add the kimchi. Shiitake mushrooms. And then I'm just gonna let this cook on its own for around five minutes. Now that a few minutes have passed, I'm gonna add the water. And you just wanna add enough to cover everything. Bring this up to a boil. Once it's at this point, I like to add my gochujang and red pepper powder. Bring it down to a simmer, and then I'm gonna add some tofu. You just cover it with a lid, and I like to let it cook for around like at least 30 minutes. I feel like that's the minimum, but I feel like the longer you cook it, the better. I really impress myself sometimes. Korean peppers, I'm eating with gochujang and cucumber. I mean, my last cookie. My camera's dying. I'm editing this video. I'm beat. I still have so much to edit. <laughs> And that is going to conclude this video. Once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hate it, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and you know, subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.